We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012, and I'm extremely pleased to be joined by Mr. Francois Rancy, who's director of the Radio Communication Bureau for ITU. Mr. Rancy, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Pleasure. Good afternoon, Max. I'd like to start off by asking you about the incredible transformations of the ICT sector and what it means to you. Well, I think we are living in, we have been living in the last 10 years two revolutions in, in ICT. The first one is the revolution of mobile telephony. What it has done is, in, in less than 10 years, changed the life of practically everybody in the world from a situation where about 2% of the population in most countries uh, had access to telephone services to a situation where nearly everybody has access to it. So that that's has radically changed uh, the life of, of the vast majority of the population in the world. Now what the second ICT revolution is, is, is now producing is the development of internet access and, and the use of, of internet access, especially with broadband connectivity. And uh, as we know, this is also going to change a lot in everybody's life and probably even more than, than the first revolution. So this is what we are seeing now. And I think it is in the mind of everybody who is actually in, in this uh, telecom forum. What are going to be the major challenges facing us? From the radio communication point of view, but I think at, at, at one of the major aspects as well overall is, is the fact that to enable the uh, internet access revolution to happen, uh, the uh, mobile telephone networks are going to need an, an increase in investment to provide internet access. This, is, this has started with 3G, but this is not enough. It will be amplified with 4G, uh, and especially with the advance in, in maybe one or two years from now. Of, of equipment con in conforming to the uh, IMT advanced specification uh, adopted by the ITU this year, which will enable uh, basically uh, up to 100 megabit per second uh, service on the uh, mobile uh, devices. So this is going to be the instrument by which uh, the large majority of people in the world are going to access internet broadband in the future. And um, this is what, what people have in mind when they come here, is to know how to do that and exchange uh, experience with those who have already started. And what's going to be the best response in order to be able to take advantage of these opportunities? Well, the, the first important response is how to make uh, the necessary spectrum uh, or available to, for the development of, of this new generation of, of mobile services. Uh, Getting more spectrums mean taking spectrum from somebody. And, and, and obviously it's not any spectrum, it is a spectrum which comes uh, in phase with the rest of the world. You don't want to have specific equipment developed for your country, you want to take advantage of development which are made for the worldwide market. And therefore uh, what, what, what really people want is, is to have worldwide, if possible, worldwide harmonization of uh, the use of spectrum for the new generation of mobile devices. And this is what uh, uh, has been started in the ITU. We, we have done that in, in, for the last 20 years, of course, with 3G, 4G, but we are now amplifying this effort to make sure that everybody, every country in the world can benefit of the economies of scale of a worldwide market. Finally, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. I wanted to find out what your experience has been of it so far and what you hope the outcome will be. Well, I, I think it's a great experience. There, there are um, so many people of, of various countries, of various origins, uh, whether regulators, governments, uh, industry, manufacturing equipment. So all, all, all these people are uh, addressing the type of problems I was mentioning from a different angle and, and the confrontation of minds to uh, get things happening is, is, is really extraordinary and uh, I, I think this is a great event. And what do you hope the outcome will be? 
I think the outcome is, is basically that everybody is given an equal chance uh, to uh, develop ICTs, and especially uh, uh, mobile networks uh, for, for broadband access uh, the, in the best possible way. And I think we are doing that. François Rancy, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, Max. Pleasure for me.